Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jeremy Skiba. Well, this is the closest she's gotten. Now less than five hours until Syracuse native Jeanette Epps is set to shoot off to the International Space Station. It could still be called off, but as News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan explains, from the Kennedy Space Center, it's all systems go for now. This is the closest we'll be allowed to the spacecraft this close to launch time. Syracuse native Jeanette Epps and her crew will be stationed in the tippy top capsule as they leave the Earth's atmosphere. As of now, the launch is still a go for tonight, despite worry over the weather. Without further delay, in the next few hours, we expect to see Epps at the ceremonial walkout when the group of astronauts appear together on their way to board the spacecraft. The flight is surprisingly short, about 250 miles to the International Space Station, the distance from Syracuse to New York City or Philadelphia. They'll travel slowly, though, not docking on the ISS until tomorrow afternoon. As we know, weather has already delayed the launch, and it could again. NASA will be watching the forecast as closely as the countdown clock. At the Kennedy Space Center, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. If the launch goes as scheduled, it'll happen at 11.16. And we hope to bring you live coverage as soon as we're on the air tonight.